Hi right, guys. Uh, we're going to try this again. we doing a box opening for a Stu Mac LP style guitar kit slash Les Paul. <laughs> previous video open this box we lost so no big deal so we're going to do this again and I'm a little bit more I've been through it but I, I'm just going to want to replay it and see what's all in store for you guys to see what's in the Stu Mac kit so we opened it up and uh, some up changes of instructions and then they printed out a couple more radius um, gauges which are in, there's a couple more in this book too, I noticed, too, for uh, certain stages and building this guitar for your fretboard and, and sanding your frets and clamping your neck, you know, for your uh, holding. Well, I want to build a piece of block with that radius so when I clamp, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyways, we won't go Let's look at this. <laughs> Let's look at this. But this is... Comes out pretty nice. It's a flame. It's a uh, flame top, maple top, veneer. So it's very thin, but and you don't want to sand on it very much. I got it a 220 sandpaper for it. The edges were a little rough here, but it's not really big. The uh, uh, humbucker covers will after I. Uh, do a little priming and filling up there. It'll cover that up right there where the humbucker goes in. It's matched. They match the. You see there the number. They match the uh, body with the neck, and it's CNC, so it's pretty precise. This is the neck. And. Uh, uh, I forgot what they call this. I don't think it's a rosewood. It might be but a, a bardello wood or some something to do with the importing woods and stuff. With they say a maple, I think the way I understand it's a maple uh, peg head. This part here, I'm not for sure it's mahogany, but then it's kind of light color. I don't know if it's maple or what, but uh, either case, it's C and C. So and then number match. So I. Uh, Always check this fit here. That's really important for a, for a nice snug fit, and it is a nice fit. I mean, it's mortise and tenon jointed. You can see there, it's it's in there pretty nice. So that's going to take a good put a good amount of glue in there and clamp it down for about 24 hours and and uh, wipe all the glue off while it's before it dries, you know, and all that good stuff. And, and get a good joint there, Gibson stop, and then and you do stuff like that. If you notice, it's, it won't go out that way, but it will go out that way. So, the hardware comes with the power cord, which is I always use a lot of these. I mean, they sent one with it. And what else I noticed inside there is a little wrench for the neck to adjust it, which I played with all already, so I got it kind of squared up. And it works that it works good. And an extra set of strings. I believe it's uh, well, it's six strings, but I'll use it. Reading through the instructions, I use it to uh, set up set up my. Uh, Height on my humbuckers and and intonation and uh, just getting it just getting it all set up through, up through the nut and uh, when I will get that done everything set there they give you a GHS string not bad I've used these a lot on my other uh, electric guitars so not bad not a bad string been around for a long time and let's see. And then I get into here, and they have uh, their humbuckers. I have no idea what kind of brand they are or anything. I look on the back, can't see what they are. 
this is number FC52 on this one it's your thicker cover around there so I'm sure it goes there and then this one will go like so like so no it goes like this no it goes like this like so with the neck all buttered up in there maybe I should cut that in but no big deal give you guys an idea what's going on so that's fit in there pretty nice. I'm going to be happy with that. Get that all situated. Now let's see. Oh yes, we get the, got the gold knobs. I am going retro. The old 56 look. So I like this idea. This came with the kit. You know, you got four of those. I'll set them on there real fast just to let you get an idea what they, what they look like. And let's see, we dig in here more. Then you got your frets, or you got your your uh, oh shoot, what do you call these? Whatever things that hold your uh, bridge and saddle down into the body. Can't think of the name of them yet. And then your capacitors for your some of your electronics are in here. And then a you got your nut cover. And then what like this? I'll do a little scrolling here. Take one of our Gibsons we have now, and, uh, and I'll make a stencil, and I'll get that all marked out and cut that all out pretty. And then we got your covers, cream covers. That's what I would like. So you said, so so you said you were going to go retro. Uh huh. You've got the gold here. Mm hmm. What's the top? Oh, yes, can't forget the top. I'm going to redo the top, not redo it, but what I'm going to do is sand this down smooth with 220 or a 320, get it smooth, then I'm going to prime it, get it smooth, then we're painting it a, a antique gold, and I got a, a, through Stu Mac, I got a color tone, antique gold. Yeah. So, and I bought the primer through the hardware store, then, you know, I'll, working with the primer there. I forgot what brand um, it is. So do that and then the back side I will, the body and the neck will be stained mahogany. Uh, here I haven't decided yet if I'll put a veneer on it. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll, I'll think of something nifty. So, but it's pretty much going to be mahogany and then I'm going to use a, uh, uh, a tongue oil. I really don't want to gloss on it because I like it more, you know, where you slide your hand up and down the neck. Mm -hmm. But I will put a satin gloss on top of the antique gold. They explained that the satin gloss is going to be a lot easier to work with than the clear gloss because you get it, that'll go into a few more other steps of re sanding and doing that. And I don't, I'm a, uh, not a professional at this, so I want to make it as easy as possible. Then we got the wiring for the the uh, pots and that. I'm still in debate if I'm going to buy me a different set of pots or anything. You know, I, I'm just more familiar with a little bit beefier wires and stuff. And for and the switches, they got a switch for the treble and rhythm. It is color matches with the covers. And I may just hook it all up and just see what it's going to sound like. Just what this, see what this kit has to offer. And if I don't like something, I'll just take it, you know, I'll change it out. You know, that's the whole idea of me building this whole thing. It's my creation. But this is a switch that comes with it. And it, it's not like the original Gibson. Fashion feels nice, but then your uh, quarter inch jacks in there with the cover. It comes apart, but that's the cover part. It comes on, goes back on the back side of the body, right back yonder here. And got your saddle, real quick. Goes like so around your uh, little lugs. Well, I forgot what the technical name is for those. And the bridge. Get that out real quick. I mean, I'm sure you could. 
I'm pretty happy with what we got here. You could update it to more fancier stuff. I mean, it looks good to me. It's nice heavy chrome. Nothing doesn't look cheap to me. Like I said, I'm going to use I'm going to, I'm going to use what they have to offer here. Even the tuners. I mean, yeah, you could get Grovers or something, but they look a lot like a Grover. But you see. You know, you got to put them all together. Get back to these tuners here. Everything's still kind of out for the jewelry. Still out. I may change. Um, I don't know. Just upgrade it. Right now they seem fine. I may upgrade. You never know with me. Even the humbuckers and that. I don't know. But I'm just curious what what they have to offer. So far, so good. So. And the next step will be. Sanding the body down, sanding the neck down, get it all baby butt smooth. And I'm going to have my assistant wife take this all up. And I will uh, prime this ready for the antique gold. Now we'll give a shot of the video of that, how that's going. So wish me luck and we'll see you next time. <laughs>